All right, guys, I'm back at it again, working for some halibut, uh, maybe a shark today. That's what I'm kind of going for. I got some time off work, so I'm out here fishing, and I'm gonna make the most of it. So here we go, let's do this. There I'm in the one there. Oh, that's a good one. There he is, there he is. Right, guys let's get into this so I forgot my SD card in my GoPro so I just filmed everything in this quick session on my uh, cell phone and uh, as you can see here it's a low tide and uh, the conditions aren't very good kind of turbid waters it was uh, kind of a northwesterly cold wind uh, not ideal for fishing but there were some little holes here and I was just trying to poke around and find um, you know just to find some action here so uh, I'm fishing at this moment like kind of a lighter setup, like a seven footer with a six pound test. And I switch it here in a second. Um, here we go, yeah. I switch over to uh, just a heavier rig. I was just trying to sp spot some fish in the early going there with the lighter tackle. All right guys, it's almost low tide. I'm gonna keep working here for a little while and see if I can drum something up here. So uh, I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we go. I switched it over to uh, a heavier setup, uh, just in the event that I caught something, I wanted to be ready for whatever it was, and I'm hoping for you know sharks or halibut. So, as you can see there, I've switched over to a nine footer. Um, it is a heavy rig, uh, 30 pound test, um, and that reel have probably has 20 pounds drag. It's a Daiwa Alexa 3500, and I'm just working it in close here. Not really even pain, kind of daydreaming to be honest. Checking the camera there just to make sure I'm in frame. But uh, I was walking down the beach and any little spot that I saw some calmer, deeper water, I was I just threw it out there. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just poking around. Uh, found a nice little hole that was, it, it didn't end up being sustainable, but it was there for long enough for me to, to fish. And so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of working it. And this, again, this is in, in fairly close, heavy line, uh, big hook, and um, I'm just waiting here for something to happen here. And uh, as you can see, um, you know, there's not big surf, but the water, there it is, there's the hit. Um, picked it up, you know what I mean? A typical, I really thought it was a halibut when I first picked it up because it, it had weight to it, but. Um, and to be honest, it wasn't until I really got it on shore that I, uh, I, w I was pretty surprised to catch a corbina, of the, especially of this size at this time of year. Uh, according to the lifeguards, even the water is like a little cool right now. But there's, there's corbina around. It's the second one I've caught this season, so that was a fun surprise. Um, and everyone always talks about them being elusive fish. Well, I caught this one on 30-pound test. Well on accident while fishing for halibut. So I wish I could say it was my plan the whole time, but I guess sometimes it's just better to be lucky than good. He's out here fishing for halibut. Sure enough, I hooked it into this nice big Corbina, man. That's a nice, that's that's easily a personal record. I'm gonna measure it real quick right now. But uh, there you go. Beautiful Corbina, gonna get him back in the water. guys one more look at that beautiful baby again fishing for halibut came up with the corbina i'm fishing this uh big heavy rig man thank god because this thing would have been pulling me all over the place uh, got him no problem on this rig though it's very heavy so let's get him back in the water off no problems found this little hole over here and sure enough had some nice fish in it so I'm gonna 
go down one size here. All right, guys, time for me to call it quits, but I'm really glad that I came out here today fishing for halibut and sharks. Got a big old Corbina. You know, you never know what you're going to get out here. And uh, fun times. Uh, special thanks to Kane Gant, Shoreline Fishing, and uh, to Sean over at Valley Fishing and Tackle. It's been a fun week. All right, thanks a lot. Hopefully see you guys soon. There I'm in the one there. Oh, that's a good one. There, there he is. There he is.